Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we'll be covering a very rare and largely unknown existence for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, which is known as the Shari Shari no Mi. The Shari Shari no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to transform their limbs into wheels. It was consumed by a marine captain named Sharingu and made its first appearance in the series during the Any Slobby arc. Although the reason why this fruit is so exceptionally rare is because it is actually the only devil fruit featured in the manga that was not, I repeat not, adapted in the anime. I mean, Sharingu himself appears in the anime, but his abilities do not, which is a very curious choice made by Toei there, given how much combat filler was inserted into the Any Slobby arc. And I have no decent explanation for why this occurred, especially considering that it was the beginning of an age where every panel of manga became hyper-focused on. But anime only watches, I assure you, that this double fruit does indeed exist. The fruit takes its name from the Japanese word for wheel, which is shut-in. However, instead of being called the shut-in shut no mi, the end sound gets chopped off in order to follow the established pattern of devil fruit names, which tend to end in a vowel sound. So we end up with shari. And because this fruit was never showcased in the anime, we have but one, count of one translation of this fruit in which Viz decided to label it as the wheel wheel fruit. So stepping into the realm of powers, this week is another strange and specific ability granted whereby one's limbs can become wheels. Now the immediate benefit of such a thing is obviously transportation. For example, by turning your two feet into wheels, you'd become a human segue. And from what we've seen, which is literally one panel of manga, the user of the Shari Shari no Mi is able to move these bodily wheels at pretty exceptional speeds, which may even rival that of your average motor vehicle. And speaking of, if just turning your feet into wheels isn't sturdy enough for you to travel at such high speeds, then it really is just a simple matter of adding your hands or arms to the equation and more or less turning yourself into a car. Now there is some question about the potential damage that could be caused by moving your body at such high speeds, but you'd have to assume that the innate abilities granted by the Devil Fruit cater for this by hardening or making the affected areas far more durable in general somehow. Because without such a mechanism, this Devil Fruit does become pretty undesirable to use, unless of course you were a proficient wielder of armament hockey, which your average individual would not be. But with all of this in mind, transport certainly is not the only way to put the Shari Shari Numi to use, and it holds a nice chunk of potential on the battlefield, because not only do high powered wheels provide a nice mobility advantage, but the speed at which you could theoretically strike an opponent would lead to heavily increased force of attacks. Sort of like the theory behind how Bellamy uses the Bane Bane no Mi, the spring spring fruit, to build up momentum and then hit hard. Except with the Shari Shari no Mi, it would be much easier to initiate said momentum. Albeit in a less versatile way because you would need a very flat surface, whereas the user of the Bane Bane no Mi can just bounce off whatever they want. However, there is also the possibility of using your wheels themselves as a weapon, which could cause some pretty devastating damage. However, I should point out that this idea was demonstrated against Frankie, but it did prove ineffective due to him blocking it with his cyborg body. Against a flesh and blood combatant, I suspect it would be a much more potent hit. And in terms of defense, should you be able to spin fast enough, there's the potential of being able to deflect attacks aimed at you like swords and or bullets. And perhaps we could even explore a method of transportation involving flight. I mean, in theory, I suppose if the user could spin part of themselves fast enough, then they'd more or less become a human helicopter. You know, the same sort of thing that Buffalo can achieve with his devil fruits, the Guru Guru no Mi. And furthermore, up until now, we've only been thinking about this from a perspective of turning one's limbs into wheels, but it is entirely possible that this fruit may also allow its user to transform into one big wheel. You know, like a sort of Sonic the Hedgehog effect. And speaking of Sonic, but not really, let's examine the almost nothing we know in regards to Sharingu's use of the fruit. From our singular panel, we see him in conflict with Frankie, both arms turned into wheels, and quite notably, only his feet are wheels rather than his entire legs, implying that he likely uses them, as I suggested previously, to propel him towards an opponent, and then engages in combat with his more armalicious wheels of doom. As such, I can only assume that he is a proficient user of the fruit, I guess. I mean, it's certainly the ability that he was born to wield given that his name Sharingu is a pun based on the fruit's name itself. And now onto the ominous thought of awakening. And all I can really say is wheels wheels everywhere. That's if it conforms to a standard Paramecia Awakening, which it may not, because this Devil Fruit is more of a transformative type than it is a generating type. However, if it does go down the more Dolphamingo route, then turning your environment into wheels of various sizes sounds ridiculously powerful for combative use, but I don't know. I just don't see this fruit following that trend for some reason. I think a more left field option would be much more likely, such as being able to turn your limbs into multiple wheels instead of just one, or bigger wheels, or perhaps even wheels of a different shape. Like, uh, like, I don't know, a square? Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a wheel human. It may also be possible to augment your wheelie self, sort of like a pimp my ride deal. For example, if you could hold a collection of spikes in your hand, would then turning your hand into a wheel create an exceptionally dangerous grinder? If so, then that unlocks a whole new world of possibilities for the fruit. However, if you aren't able to incorporate that sort of outside stimulus, then we're looking a bit limited. So what can I say about the wheel? 
Thank you for your practical value and integral part in the evolution of humanity, but I can't say I'm entirely sold on the idea of having you in a devil fruit. However, it does actually hold a fair bit of practical use for the everyday person, just through the basic idea of transport. With this fruit, there's no need for a bike, a car, or even to ever really use your own legs as biology intended. So for those who don't generally enjoy using their legs in that fashion, this could be a pretty fantastic addition to your life. But if you're someone like me, who does like using their legs for things, then it's really not such a great match. As for combat, yes, there's some great stuff here for very proficient wielders to take advantage of, but despite the power of wheels, I don't feel like it really grants the versatility that most other fruits can offer you. And yeah, there's not much more to say. It's pretty cool, I guess. And with that, we are going to commit the Shari Shari no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we are going to be diving into the abyss of one of the most intriguing Devil Fruits in the series, the legendary Yami Yami no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if Patreon isn't quite your style, then please do leave this video a like, share, or subscribe, because it also helps support this channel an incredible amount. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Shari Shari no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. To be perfectly honest, I can't believe that I just made a, a, what, a six minute video on a devil fruit that was only ever featured in a single panel. I mean, looking at the script now, that's almost 1500 words. Oh, oh what am I doing with my life?